<laughs> hey, hey, hello, Canada. I'm Michael Weatherly. I'm drinking water. Watch when I drink. Mm. Ah. Canadian Fiji water. It's the best in the world. Um, I'm going to be answering a few of your questions. Uh, some of you may have new questions. Some of you may have questions that I've already answered, but I will answer again. Some of you may not have questions, but just want to watch because you're voyeuristic. And I like that. So I'm going to be reading these off a little thing. If you see me looking down, uh, that's what I'm looking at. I'm looking at a thing. How, do you, how did you feel portraying a new character in Bull after such a long time playing the, the other character? Well, this is the thing about being a fun, functional schizophrenic. Um, it's easy as pie. Because all you really got to do is just uh, flip personalities. Uh, like the, um, that's not true. I'm not a functional schizophrenic. I, I didn't have a hard time because I felt like I had done a full circle with Dinozo. I felt like he was a closed loop. And I gave myself a lot of time to um, wrap up my feelings towards the character. And so bingo, bango, bongo onto Bull. And I love playing Bull because he surprises me. I don't really know what he's going to do or uh, what's going to happen. So it's a new journey and a new adventure and uh, we all know how exciting that can be. You know what I mean? It's like when the first date goes well and then you're like, oh, this might be a new thing. This might be... It's very exciting. Okay, I'm going to look at my thing again. I'm going to take a sip of water too. Voyeuristically, you can watch as I imbibe. Watch. That's some fire water there. Mm. What was it like? Oh, it got flipped to here. I, I missed one. Is that okay? How are you liking Canada? What's been your favorite spot in Canada so far? Favorite spot so far? This moment I'm in right now. Because I'm kind of Buddhist like that. I'm a little Zen. I am where I am. And I live in the moment. And in Canada, most of those moments are pretty good. It's clean here. Um, not that Los Angeles isn't clean. Let's be honest, Los Angeles isn't clean in any way, shape, or form. I'm talking about, like, metaphorically. What is one genre of film or TV you'd like to experiment with? Hmm. Well, I did... Um, well, somebody spilled water here. I don't know what happened. Um, I'll clean it with my little pocket square. Because that's the kind of responsible American I am when I'm visiting Canada. Uh, I did uh, a little sci-fi with the Dark Angel. I did a little bit of... Uh, Comedy with uh, a show called Jesse and uh, some other things that you didn't see because they weren't that funny. Uh, I have done um, your very dramatic stuff. I did a soap opera. I have done uh, movies like The Last Days of Disco and uh, Gun Shy with Liam Neeson. I've done um, stupid comedy movies like where I played Rodney Dangerfield's son. I have done a lot of stuff in the procedural drama. What was the name of that show? Oh, yeah, NCIS. But I have to say, first and foremost, that Bull, the legal thing, I'm super into it. Because it's not just a legal show, it's kind of about um, like how you get marketed to when, you're, when you go onto your Facebook like you are now, and you have all these pop-up ads, and they're all targeted to you based on your Google searches and how we live in a world like that. It's kind of awesome. I'm, I'm into it. I want to know more about why we do what we do. Donald Trump. Someone explain it to me. I'll be paying attention to my Twitter later. Sophie Jefferson. Strange. I'm not being political with that either. I'm just saying. I'm, not, I'm just saying. Curious. Curious. Sophie Jefferson. Strangest thing about Canada. Hmm. You know, back. Back through the mists of time, I met my wife in Canada, and that's the strangest thing about Canada. Serena Nelson, any thought of playing the next James Bond? Now listen, there's only one James Bond, and his name is Connery. Uh, no, I have no thoughts on playing James Bond. However, I did option uh, Ian Fleming's Thrilling Cities um, from the uh, Fleming estate, and there is, um, while it has nothing to do with James Bond, Ian Fleming, who did create James Bond and wrote this uh, fascinating series of essays on 13, 14 different cities around the world, I am trying to turn that into a TV series, which I may or may not even play the lead character. Not even, uh, anyway. What's the most interesting um, about the role, the psychological science of the legal... 
it, the legal drama is always a little fascinating, but to me, the psychological side of things is where it really comes down to. So I'm going to just go Facebook live on you. How, many, how much time we got? Four more minutes? Here's the deal. Um, so here's the deal. Psychological drama. Human behavior. I mean, it's one thing to understand your dog. It's another thing to understand your children. What did you do to prepare for the role? I watched Fellini's Eight and a Half 25 times. Marcello Mastroianni plays Guido, a director in the middle of a crisis. Will he make the picture or not? Watch Eight and a Half and find out. That's what would happen if it was a TV show. I'm Michael Weatherly, and this has been uh, fascinating. Thank you for hanging out with me, Canada. I want you to know that I wore underwear today for you. And I'm going to show it to you right now. Ready? I'm going to show you my underwear. Here comes the underwear. Here comes the underwear. No, I'm not. <laughs> Come on. Bye, Canada.